Now time for Keller at Large. Here's John Keller. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, there's nothing we uh, in this business love more than an exit interview with an elected official who's resigned their post. They're leaving. All the constraints are off. They feel free to, to be brutally candid, spill all the beans on their former colleagues. And that's what we're hoping to get today out of our guest, former State Senator Linda Dorsina Forey, who has just stepped down from her seat representing the first Suffolk district to take a job in the private sector. Senator, congratulations. Thank you, John. And I'm, I was just kidding. I know you are. Come on. I, got I know you're not going to trash anyone, <laughs> at least not publicly. Right? Never, okay. ever. <laughs> we'll talk later. Anyway, um, if you, you've been in public office 22 years, yeah, you said? Yeah, public service for 22 years, so you, elected for 13 years. So you started when you were about six, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, you it's know, incredible. I think I'm a millennial. Isn't it amazing? No, so I'm if not. you had it to do over again, what, if anything, would you do differently? I mean, I've loved every moment of it. I got to tell you, right? Come out of, on, every moment? Every moment. I know there's ups and downs, you know, but really representing my constituents has been quite incredible to represent the first Suffolk, but also the 12th Suffolk. So Dorchester, Mattapan, South Boston, High Park, and Milton when I was a state rep. Um, but for me, really, the moment um, was so amazing. My first vote was really around civil marriage, right, and equal marriage. And that's when I was a freshman um, state representative. And that was quite fulfilling, you know, because we we set the stage not only here in Massachusetts, but really for the country and really allowing um, you know, individuals who love each other, you know, to be able to marry each other. We love to see ourselves here in this state as uh, ahead of the curve, mm -hmm. smarter than all the other states, definitely more handsome and attractive yeah, well. than, the other, uh, than the other states. Um, and certainly we blazed the trail on gay marriage. Yeah. Uh, with regard to the struggling segments of your district. Yeah. Uh, has this progressive state done right by them? I have to tell you, you know, I've worked hard, you know, with my colleagues to bring in the resources into my district. You know, over the years, you know, in terms of transportation access, when we look at Mattapan and Dorchester, really be able to connect the waterfronts, got a lot of money, you know, to m create this missing path, you know, this link on the Nampanset River Greenway Trail connecting Mattapan, Milton, and Dorchester. Um, you know, worked on housing, and housing affordability um, and one of the big pieces I'll say is around how do we create more access and opportunity into jobs and one of the big ones I would say for me is on the South Boston waterfront there's a big headquarters hotel that's being built um, there is a significant number of businesses that are owned by people of color that are part of that development and that didn't happen by accident it was intentional um, legislation that I worked on um, that got done what's been your biggest disappointment or frustration you know, there's always frustration, right? I would say that, you know, the frustration is, you know, there are people who call the office where they're losing their homes or, you know, families are being broken apart, um, where there's issues around domestic violence, but really more around mental health and addiction. Big, big issue. Um, and how do we really start bringing in and thinking collectively and holistically around helping our young children, you know, in this commonwealth. You, you don't know. see that happening on Beacon I mean, Hill? I, no, I do see it happening. It is happening, but we can do more, right? And we talk about that, and my colleagues get that. And it's really supporting these organizations and programs that are working. But there are programs that are not working. And if they're not working, then we need to shift, right? And we need to look in another direction. All right, let's take a quick break. And when okay. we continue, we'll talk more with state senator, former state senator, I should say, Linda Dorsina Forey, in a moment. Please stay with us.